All right, all right, so you want a 38 millimeter diver. You don't have a ton of money. You're willing to go 500, you got 250 right now. This is maybe the watch for you. Borealis is doing a pre-order right now. It's 50% it's down. I know some people don't like this, but I don't know, it works for me. But 50% down, so basically 250 right now. You pay the other 250 when the watch is done in its production. So the pre-order would conclude and then the watches would get made. They get made, they show up, they say, hey, pay the other half, we'll ship it to you. Boom, you got it. S spreads it out a little bit so you don't have to like part with $500 hairs all at once. So what do we get for that price point? Well, we get, I don't know, pretty solid watch. Borealis has been making watches for a while, so they kind of know what they're doing. 38 millimeter case, 47 lug to lug. You do have like a separate center link here but it doesn't really articulate all the way so it's going to add a little bit of length to the lug to lug but i don't know it curves down it's not a big deal to me but we'll see maybe it is to you so 38 case 47 lug to lug you do have drilled lugs on this guy it's only 12 and a half millimeter thick that's including the double dome sapphire crystal with ar coating 20 millimeter lug width here bracelet tapers down to 18 and you have a standard milled out clasp with six micro adjusts this is a a very familiar clasp system. Uh, I don't have any problem with it. Of course, there is an evolution of clasp happening in the micro brand world. Some are staying with the tried and true like this, and some are evolving. Uh, but you know what else evolves with that is the price point. Nice case back on this thing. Screw down, obviously. Screw down crown. 300 meter water depth rating on this thing. No crown guards. Uh, it's kind of like a smaller, I don't want to name any other brands, but there's another micro brand out there that makes a very similar looking watch that's designed after a, even a bigger similar look, looking watch. Uh, this is like a miniature version of that. 120 click bezel on this thing, nice sharp clicks and ceramic bezel inserts. Everything lines up. This one's white on white. You can get the white with the black. I would probably go with that because the white, I don't know. This is like too white, and then this is almost like a um, oblique white or something. It's not like a true white, and then the ceramic is. But maybe you like that look. Um, otherwise, you could go with this one. This one has a snowflake handset, and has like a, a pretty cool looking tone of red. And then the dial on this one's actually, both of them have like texture to them. If we zoom in, let's check that out. Because if you zoom in on this guy, there's a little bit more going on with the dial. You can see there, it almost looks like it's meteorite or something, but it's just a textured dial. So nice applied to indexes, handset, all that good stuff is well done, executed. BGW9 Loom is what's going to be in this thing. Here's a look at the dial. I really like this dial. I don't know what that is, like a stretched out honeycomb pattern almost. I'm really digging that dial. So there we go. What kind of hardware do we have on the bracelet? Can we focus? Let's focus a little bit. I think we have a split pen. So I'm not sure if these are prototypes. So I'm not sure if that's what's going to be in the production model. But I don't have a problem with split pins either. It keeps the cost down super fast and easy to size up. But uh, I'll put a link in the description to Borealis. Maybe there's some more information there. But typically when Carlos sends me prototypes, they're like 90%. They're pretty close. So I suspect this will have split pins. Nice bracelet. Matching to the watch, very clean. This is what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. A little smaller than what my personal preference is. I could totally wear it, but I know there's a ton of people out there that prefer the 38 by 47 case, especially when it's thin and affordable. Let's try the white one on so you can get a look at what that looks like, and then we'll close out with a loom shot. There's the white one. White dial is going to present a little bit bigger. Maybe that would be my choice. White dial with the black ceramic bezel insert, I think maybe is what I would go with. I don't really have a whole lot of white dial watches right now, but pretty much just the Breitling Super Ocean. So, all right, let's kill the lights, check the loom, and that's it. Oh, the movement, Miyota 9015, pretty standard stuff. You can see they didn't loom the white because the printing is black. So another good reason to maybe go with the black bezel insert, but, if maybe you're looking to go push a little more feminine look to it, maybe you want it for your lady or something like that, I think the white works, the white bezel insert. Or maybe you just really like white and you want to go with that. But otherwise, if you go with the black one, you're going to get the loomed bezel insert. So here you go, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next vid.